Welcome back to Teacher Tidbits, and this is Nikki Bitzer, aka The Math Medic. I hope you've seen my other videos. I have several out on sums of 10 and 11 and 12 and 13 and 14. If you haven't, make sure to check those out. But this video is going to be on multiplication practice. I've had a lot of requests for that, so I'm going to show you uh, one game and then a variation of that game on multiplication practice with the cards. So get your cards ready, and I'll show you how those are played. On this first version of Multiplication War, you'll probably want to have the children take out the face cards, jacks, kings, queens, and of course the jokers and any direction cards, and put those aside. Now this is a modified version of it. In the beginning, when they're learning their multiplication facts, you probably would want to also take out the larger numbers, such as the tens, the eights, the nines, the sevens, those cards, the larger cards. I tell the children to pull out what I call a target number. In this case, you might want to start with the twos when they're learning their multiplication facts. They put the stack of cards beside that. They take turns turning the cards over. They, they race to say the answer, which would be 20. The first person that says it gets that card. First person that would say it, it would be 18. They get that card, and so on. First person that would say it, it would be 4. They get that card. So they continue to play till all the cards are gone, and then and then the one, the, t the person with the most cards win. They can keep playing that for, uh, you know, 15, 10, 15, 20 minutes till they learn their math facts. Another version of Multiplication War is, to, again, to take out your face cards in the beginning. Later on when they learn their 11s and 12s and 13s, you'll want to put those back in. They deal these out just like regular war. And to save time, I'm not going to do that, but they'll deal them out evenly into two stacks. I have my stack and the partner has their stack. They take turns turning the top card over at the same time the, the student that says the answer, which would be 10, gets the cards. And they keep turning over. The first person that says the answer, which is 14, gets the cards. So they keep playing just like regular war except it's multiplication until all the cards are done or sometimes I have them play until some, one person has no cards and that's how that one's played. And that's how you play the multiplication war and the variation of that. So make sure to play those with the kiddos because they love it. It gets a little loud. But if you do that about 15 or 20 minutes every day, they get really fast at it. You can do it at home. You can do it with the kids, with partners, at school, at the end of the day. It's a great end of the day activity. Hope to see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. And for more games like this, check out www.teachertidbits.com. And that's bits with a B-I-T-Z.